Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at global variables. So what are global variables? Well, if you already know what variables are, variables are just really like something that stores information. So a global variable is just a variable that stores information throughout everything. You can access it from anywhere. So what exactly does that look like? Well. It looks sort of like this. This is a variable. Variable. So this variable equals zero. But here's a global variable. Global dot variable equals zero. And actually, let's just give this a different name. Variable one. Okay. So this is a global variable. And so what's really the difference? This can be accessed from anywhere. This can't. This can only be accessed by object 1. So let's create another object. And let's create a step event. So like I said before, this is this is object 2. Okay, let me just rename this. Object 2. So object 2 can access this. All it needs to do is a global variable and then it's accessed it so there we go and I zoomed out a little bit but what about this variable can we not access the local variable from object one well we can't just say variable equals something but you know what we can do we can do object one dot variable then we can have it equal five or something so we can still access the variable this variable but we have to say object one dot variable so we need to access it straight from object one well in this case we just need to access it from the uh, keyword global so yeah that's primarily the difference and why would you want to use a local variable versus a global variable well a local variable you can have 500 object ones inside your room different instances of object one and you can all have have you can have them all have this variable so this variable can be different for each of them for example this variable could be let's just say HP so now each of them can have a different HP so this one can have seven and then maybe a maybe a different instance of object one has five HP and so on but with a global variable there's only one instance of this variable existing so you can use this for like a for a high score or something you might want to use a global variable for your high score because you only want one high score you don't want there to be a ton of different high scores everywhere so yeah th that's really how you use global variables they're pretty simple but they're very important for programming